100th year of Camp Randall, and it's a top 10 team hosting the number nine Wisconsin Badgers and the Utah State Aggies. Expect up tempo. High snap handled by Myers, and it will be a loss back at the 18 yard line. Badgers bring four. Underneath it's Hunt, and right on cue, it's Leon Jacobs. Now it's Chris James in the backfield. He helps pick up one blitzer, but Alex Hornibrook, only one lineman with his hand down for Utah State. An exotic blitz from the Aggies. Getting to Hornibrook again. Running the reverse with Jordan Nathan. The redshirt freshman out of California. Leaping in such from Dominic Everly. Part-time kicker last year, taking over the full-time duties this season. Jonathan Taylor, the true freshman, has checked in at running back. And ball is loose on the ground and picked up by Utah State. That's Wisconsin working in a new center of their own. And Hornybrook never got the snap against the Badgers. There is Hunt with the cut. And Lawan Hunt is into the end zone. And Utah State coming out slugging. Your shot with a big hole. Dusty right on cue. You watch out for over six yards of carry for the Volunteers. Hornibrook has an open man and incomplete. Looking for Quintez Cephas. And there is the veteran of that secondary. And he took his helmet off, which is not a good thing to do either. Jalen Davis has to put his helmet back on. But let's take a look at this. Yes. I, you know, you could you could make the argument here. Is he leading with the crown of his helmet? And is he making contact forcibly above the shoulders? So to the head or neck area. Here tonight. Wide receiver was defenseless, forceful contact to the helmet. I hate to see Jalen Davis leave this game so early, especially as well as he's played, but that's the correct call on the field. Yeah, the, the key word that you use too is defenseless. Any receiver who's in the process of receiving the ball is considered to be a defenseless player. Pressure from the Aggies again. The ball was loose moment. That's a great point. That's what tempo can do to you, Molly. El Toro Allen with his first touch of the night. It's a, come on, come now. on, Dusty. This is a place of higher learning. <laughs> uh, good point. Molly's got a point here, man. On the stretch, Shaw, Frederick Shaw, leaping to the goal line, and he is in for a touchdown. In every game they play this season. Kent Myers underneath, intercepted off the fingertips of the freshman Carson Terrell, and there is T.J. Edwards, and oh boy, this thing. David Jose is wondering why did we just take into the half? Tries to hit his tight end, ball pops off his hands, and T.J. Edwards, Johnny on the spot, field goal try in nearly a year. He looks healthy. The Badgers look much healthier. End of the first half. Alex Hornibrook goes back to work with a handoff to the freshman Jonathan Taylor and here goes the speedster out into Utah State territory. Third down and two. Hornibrook rolling. Wide open Fumagalli. Badgers take the lead for the first time. Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN. Half an hour earlier at 7.30 Eastern. Myers deep, picked off by Dakota Dixon. And now the Badger defense is beginning to step it up. Hit Myers wants to make a play, wants to have a spark on the run, on the move. That's a bad decision by the senior quarterback taking a shot down the field and a double coverage. Hitting him out. Play action. Open in the flat, it is Xander Neville. And Xander Neville finds the space. 
His first career reception is a touchdown. Down here on the sidelines. Well, I'll tell you, my jacket pretty much smells of it, so I'll just give that to you after the game, and we'll be able to experience it with everybody else. That's a, Looked a little bit like it. Here is Taylor. Ooh. He busts to the outside, and Jonathan Taylor has these Badger fans salivating right now. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Myers sat. Yeah. Back to the ground here, James. And the ball coming loose at the 38 yard line. Aggies believe they have it here. And indeed, they do. Myers rifles it into traffic, deflected and incomplete. Wisconsin. Sure, absolutely but does more with less anywhere in the country. Truly remarkable, the program and the firing here at Wisconsin. How about that grab? Quintez Cephas for the first one of the year. They'll do it again next week. Hornibrook, Fumagalli, the stop and go. And big Troy. He's recruited very well. Got an edge, a tough score. impressed this season. Leonard had as big of an impact as anybody on that. Might just be year number two for Jim Leonard to actually we're gonna have a, a inside of a touchdown game. And, uh, one that I think uh, Herbie and the boys will be calling to the end. Another interception, and it's Joe Ferguson. In his 45th career game, the redshirt senior from right here in Madison will take it home. Incredible stuff that organizations and people have been doing over this last 10 day stretch to help as much as they possibly can. You can help us out too. This is Garrett Groshek on the run. And Garrett Groshek with his first career touchdown for Wisconsin. Red shirt freshman. Leonard, this is a big play. Oh, yeah. Myers to the end zone, and it is incomplete. Luburn Figaro shuts it down for the Badgers tonight. 59 unanswered for the number nine team in the country.